Well, some economic indicators have been improving. The price of gas has been follow, falling, that sort of thing. Um, and some of the most recent uh, reportings of inflation have been a little bit better. Things might be moving in the right direction there, although hold on that. Um, inflation and the high cost of a lot of things, including groceries, are affecting a lot of families this Thanksgiving. Apparently, many people are considering changing up the old Thanksgiving tradition and just going to a restaurant. Not at a preference, but just because it's significantly cheaper. Um, and here is why. So apparently, uh, there are a number of different mom and pop restaurants that are getting massive amounts of advanced food orders. Um, some of as much as $65,000 for a single restaurant. So that's good economically for them, I suppose. But it is for the first time in decades more economical to dine out on Thanksgiving Day than to uh, shop for, cook, and then clean up. So the cost of food away from home has increased by almost 6% this year over last year. But it's nearly 10% for groceries at the grocery store. And it's not like Thanksgiving is a cheap meal to begin with. And so I can sort of understand why some would be willing to forego the tradition and instead just go eat a meal at a restaurant, which is perfectly fine. It's just not my preference. And, and I don't want that sort of thing to be forced on people by bad economic times. Obviously, this is one of the most minor of the economic consequences of the way things have been the past few years. But it's even hit Thanksgiving now, Jordan. I don't know, I just, I, I'm not a big tradition person on this kind of stuff. And I know this is moments like this are when the right feels like they have a lot of runway. Because it can, that people do appeal to tradition and it, in some ways it is effective. Like they, they do it with so many different things. And I feel like they're going to hit this if they haven't already. I, I try to ignore them as much as I can. As we get closer to Thursday, they're going to hit this like, oh, the, the just distinct American tradition of sitting around the table with a big turkey is being ripped <laughs> away from us by Joe Brandon. And just like, I kind of don't care, man. Doing the dishes sucks, yeah. cleaning up sucks. So it, it's like, it's just all stuffy and like uncomfortable all day. You're sitting there in your nice clothes all day, it sucks. I like just oh like a God. relaxed approach. Just hang good. out, man, I, I, give, give me pizza, I don't care. I just wanna be with my friends and family, that's it. Yeah, that sounds good, maybe a turkey pizza. But I love that Jordan is demonstrating like, Reactionary politics via laziness. <laughs> like I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna tear down the establishment because I don't want to do dishes. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, yes. Uh, I look. I, I don't care about the tradition in that like whiny way that you're describing. But you know, it's nice to have family occasionally get together. I've been lucky so far that my family. Mm -hmm. Get togethers haven't totally devolved in the Trump era into the way that some unfortunately have. But anyway, let this just serve then as a reminder that there is still a lot of work to do um, to get us to get the American people back to just the economic standing they were in prior to the pandemic, which was not good even then. But we've lost ground since then. And unfortunately, the ability of the like, even if the Democrats were inclined to do something, which is not shouldn't be assumed. With the Republicans taking over the House, even the ability to pass some sort of legislation to help out. If we get hit by you know, a really dark winter in terms of the pandemic, you think stimulus is coming with a Republican House and a Democratic Senate? So I do have a lot of fears going forward. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.